Hi, this is Melissa. Welcome to our Club 513 House Church video for the week of October the 11th. If you remember, last week we started a new unit about God as the Creator. Our lesson last week was about how God created this beautiful world that we live in. Well, this week we're going to talk a little bit about a man named Job and how God reminded Job that he, God, is the creator of all things and he's in control. So, let's get started. Okay, just a reminder, we're talking about God as creator this month. Last week we were in Genesis 1. This week we're going to focus on Job, particularly Job 38 to 42, but really all of Job, the whole story of Job. So, as a reminder, last week we talked about what God created on the first six days. How he created light and dark, the clouds and the skies, the land and the plants, the planets and the skies, the sun and the moon, fish, the birds, and then man and land animals. How he formed everything the first three days, and in the last three days he filled it with things. And at the end of those six days, God saw everything he had made, and he declared that it was all good. But something happened. Sin comes in to God's creation. We all know the story about Adam and Eve and what happened and how sin just came into the world. And, and a lot of that was because mankind thought that they could be better rulers over everything than God himself could do. And then there was this man named Job. Job was a man who loved God, yet bad things happened to him. Let's watch this video from the Bible Project to learn a little about Job and what happened to him. So a few things that we want to make sure that we remember when we think about Job. First, Job had some very hard things happen to him in his life, and he wanted to argue with God about those things and how his life was unfair. And because Job asked him to, God came and he spoke to him to make sure he knew the difference between God and man. He asked him those questions, you know, God, you know, where, where were you, Job, when I created the world? You weren't here. You weren't born yet. You weren't around. Um, where were you when I laid the foundation for the earth? Uh, God shows Job that God has so much more wisdom and we're not capable of even doing anything in this earth as far as controlling it. And um, creation is just so big and so amazing and it's hard to even imagine how anybody could do that. And we certainly couldn't do that. So just reminds Job that he's the one in charge. He's the one that created everything. He knows what's best for us and what's best, and he's the one making the decisions. So just to kind of end, um, it's just a reminder to us that God's in control. He's the one that's making, making everything happen or in control of what is happening. And he knows what's best, even though sometimes when things are hard and we don't understand, God knows that it really is what's best for us. So here's you a few questions, parents, that you can go over and talk about with your kids. Hope you guys have a great week. Miss you. Look forward to seeing you soon. Oh, and one last thing. Here's the memory verse if you guys want to work on that for just a little bit. I've emailed it to the parents. So parents, you have a PowerPoint with this in your email that you can use to practice with. I won't spend the time this week doing it with you. Have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.